Hey, this is Jacob at SalesPad, and today we're going to take a look at using filter scripts um, from the SalesPad script manager. And what this allows us to do is um, we get asked a lot of times to be able to filter um, the customer search and sales documents um, so that only a specific sales rep can see their customers and their documents. <clears throat> and we can accomplish this using the script manager. Now these scripts get applied to a security group so in the case um, that you are wanting to filter by sales rep you would need to have a separate security group per sales rep because that is the, because of the way those scripts are applied and the way that they're filtered. Um, so the first thing that we're going to want to do uh, I'm going to go into my script manager module so I'm going to pick it out of the list and this takes me into the actual script manager itself. This is where we're going to create the script and then also have some pre-written scripts that we can drop in. Now these pre-written scripts will be available on our website in the knowledge base um, as well as they're available through email so if you email support at salespad.net and ask for those filter scripts then uh, we can get those sent over to you. I've got one added already. I'm going to go ahead and add a new one. So I'm going to pick new registration I'm going to pick my profile name. Now this is this profile name is limited to um, your um, security groups. Um, so in this case I'm going to go ahead and add one for sales. Under my script type there's only one option, data filter script. Script parameters, I can have the option of passing in a parameter um, from this script header portion. Um, I'm going to go ahead and skip over that and not use it. The next portion is actually naming my script. Um, so I'm going to just call this sales filter. Now the one thing to remember is the script name has to match up with a script name on the right side to take effect. Um, so I've got that portion. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Um, I'm going to click new script on the right side and I'm going to pick a data filter script here. So I need to go ahead and give this a name and I want to name it the exact same as what I named it on the left hand side. Go ahead and put that in and now I need to edit my script so I click on edit now we go ahead and we stub in the top portion and the bottom portion for you so really all you need to do is drop in um, the actual filter script itself uh, so I'm gonna take mine that I have open in my email and drop it in here now what this is doing is this is filtering if different business objects um, uh, for uh, or different uh, different section for each business object so I need to go ahead and set my filter uh, string which is my sales rep ID here and then I have to set it one other place for the sales monitor we have to filter it just a little bit different so you need to put in the filter string um, in this section as well in the sales monitor once I have that done I can hit OK um, the, the scripting or the filter portion is, are, is done there's nothing else that needs to be done um, or needs to be accomplished on the actual filters themselves so I can actually close this screen I also need to go into my settings and go ahead and type in filter on your uh, filter bar and I need to make sure that I have my data filter scripts enabled set to true if I want to use those and again it only affects uh, groups that you've assigned a filter script to now any group that or any um, user that logs into the sales group uh, would be filtered by the Phil uh, sales or Paul sales rep or the Paul W on the sales monitor. So if I log into or if I, I'm going to change my security setting to the sales group and we can go ahead and test it real quick. So I save that. I'm going to file log out. Now as soon as I log in that script is going to take effect and I can go ahead and do my customer search and then if you'll notice only Paul W shows in my sales rep so I only see Paul W customers if I look under the sales monitor I'm only going to see Paul W uh, documents if you'll see here's my rep field I only see Paul W documents here um, and so any queue that I'm looking at so that is how we can do filtering um, by sales reps within sales pad you can also use sales territory um, you can pretty much use any of the fields that are available within our sales pad views um, again, that's filtering within SalesPad. This is Jacob at SalesPad. Thanks for watching.